just so uncomfortable with all of this. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey VHK and today I am going on a date. I am very excited. There is a game that I found on Steam that's called Doodle Date. Apparently with this game you get to draw your dream date and then date them. Play. Oh my gosh. This music is killing me. Me. Summer vacation ended and as usual I remain single throughout it. Wow. Just <laughs> wreck me at the beginning. Good thing it's my last year of high school. Hopefully in college I won't have to put up with this kind of crap. For now it's just back to idle doodling. Just as I opened my notebook, I heard a strange- No! The doodle does not come to life. Hey there! It's Claire. A doodle. It was one of my old drawings! I couldn't believe it! She's talking! I can't believe it's you! We were worried sick. We thought you'd never come back. Why? You used to draw on our pages all the time and suddenly you left. No matter now, you're back! Come on in, creator! Who, me? Before I could reply, I suddenly found myself being pulled into the pages of my notebook by a mysterious force. What is happening? Welcome, creator, to Doodle World! The place where all of your wonderful creations come to life, including me. To demonstrate, I have brought you one of our blank pages. What? Bring me back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, look at her thigh gap. Clearly she's a drawing. <laughs> she also was missing a nose. Start by drawing something simple, like your favorite fruit. Go ahead, try it. Alright, we're gonna draw my favorite fruit. Why don't I know my own favorite fruit? Oh, I guess it's a raspberry. Okay, here's the one. <laughs> Maybe I should draw circles. It's starting to look like a daisy, but we'll get there. This does not bode well for me drawing my actual dream boy, because I feel like my dream boy would be better than this. Ah, oh, this looks like grapes. That's fine. That's my favorite fruit. Wow, it looks delicious. No, it doesn't. You sure know how to draw? Nope. Not very lively though, is it? Why don't we create a person? to talk to. Make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Oh my. Not that I'm implying anything. My relationship with you is strictly professional. I think Claire's into us. I'm cool with it. Anyway, go ahead. Draw yourself up a dream date. Alright, here's our moment. So I feel like I need some inspiration, right? I'm looking at Craig from Dream Daddy just because I think that he's incredibly handsome and would be a good call. Maybe I'll have a better chance with him. So it goes like here and then he's got this like cute little that was wrong. This is his cheek but no, his cheekbone got out of control! His jaw, and that's his chin, right? Oh god, this is bad. This is bad. Drawing with Kelsey is terrible. This is nothing like Craig, but it's good enough for me. Sad? I have to redo it? Alright. Screw that. Shy. <laughs> We'll draw like little lines. Sultry? There's too many drawings for me to do. <laughs> Angry. Oh, creator, that was simply stunning. I'll let you two get to know each other a little better. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for making me. You're welcome. I didn't have much choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? <laughs> You want to leave so soon after making me? Oh, you hate me, don't you? Of course not. I don't hate you at all. I just need to get back to my own world. I see. Oh my God, he's just going through the gambit of emotion. Well, I'm sure you have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? Why would you start bringing that up immediately? I mean, no, I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. <laughs> because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me? I've never been with someone so beautiful before. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so what'll it be, big shot? Yeah, I'm gonna stay. I'll stay for you, Craig. I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means that you and I could, you know. Yes? Hang out? Just say it, you weirdo. <laughs> Date? It's a drawing! I just can't. I just can't. I mean, I already knew it was supposed to be a drawing. So, how does dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. <laughs> Dismembered head just slides in. Here we are. Out at a fancy restaurant, of course. I wanted our first date to be classy. <laughs> it looks literally the same. It's because you didn't draw anything. Do I have to draw the whole thing? What does a waiter look like? Deadpool! Check! Our waiter's Deadpool. Well, hello there, good look. Deadpool's hitting on me too? Craig is jealous. 
I said draw as a waiter, not a flirt! You can't just help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? What? No, I didn't mean to, I swear. Uh-huh, sure, just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. <laughs> Tell our accidentally remarkably attractive waiter exactly what they can get for you. I'm gonna say favorite fruit. My favorite fruit, please. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Nothing but the finest cuisine for you. Nice move. I feel like my concerns were addressed. Craig is being very clingy. You know what? This whole thing is a bad idea. I jumped in the... No, no, not again, Craig! I'm sorry, I guess I don't know what I'm doing. I never got on a date with someone before. I mean, I haven't either having only recently come into existence about five minutes ago. But I know better than to flirt with the waiter on a first date at least. I didn't flirt with Deadpool, Craig. They just came into existence flirting. I don't yet know how the creation process works. You can't blame me for everyone being so into me. <laughs> Fine, I suppose we can try starting over. This is a very different Craig than the dream daddy Craig. Bro! We talked throughout the evening about whatever we could. Small talk about the non-existent weather, favorite foods, etc. It wasn't much, but I can tell we were starting to bond. Sorry, a bond with someone who just came into existence and doesn't know anything. I drew myself up an apartment to stay the night in. It's time to get up, sleepyhead, and more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. Wh why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. <laughs> Great. Oh, uh, because you created them is such silly. I mean, I created you too, right? I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. I feel like at the end, Claire and I are gonna run away together. I race for you in your dream date to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. Draw yourself up something nice to wear. Let's get going. Oh, God. That's my nice thing to wear. Let's move on. Wow, you drew a big X. Those look like... What? I just got wrecked. Here we are. Have fun, you two. Yeah, it's my boy. So I had fun with you last night. Yeah, me too. So what do you want to do? Let's uh, go on a walk. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages. I know you're a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like, dislike? Since last night, I decided to simply explore. I find I like walking along the paper. But more than anything, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think that something is wrong with me? No, of course not. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe. Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours and is thus hollow to begin with? Gosh, he's asking those deep questions. On the other hand, you're really cute. Sketchy, you don't have hands, Sketchy. I didn't draw you hands. What are you holding? Do you think I'm cute? Of course I do. You're more than cute. You're by far the most amazing person I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> I feel like that's a humble brag. Sketchy was silent as they looked at me in a way I've never seen before. Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. <gasps> Smooch. <laughs> Gross. Passionately kissed me, engulfing me in this sensual energy. I was taken aback. I am also taken aback. And instantly held their body against mine. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest. Very weird. Phrasing. After what it felt like a blissful eternity, I uh, I better get going. This all feels like it's moving so fast. I'll see you tomorrow. I wish they just used my first sketch the most, but I, I, I see what they're doing. Can't you like go with my hand and walked away? I think I'm really starting to like this place. I'm not. Claire is stalking me. She wants to know how my date went. It went really great. Why are you so invested? I just want to see you happy. I'm very interested in knowing if you're getting the love you deserve, creator. Be honest with me. Do you have feelings for me? What? No! Oh, I want you to find your true love, and your true love is obviously your dream date, Sketchy. After all, you drew them that way. You do love Sketchy, don't you? So I could love her, or I could love Sketchy. Oh, mostly because she's better drawn than Sketchy is. I love Sketchy. You're right, I do. At least I think I do. I don't know what I feel. That's true. Well, oh, Claire is so hurt. Oh, is she the best of luck in your love endeavors? Claire, no. Wait, now I regret it. As the weeks turned into months, I, I came to realize I didn't want to leave this place. There was no future I could imagine that didn't involve Sketchy. I had to let Sketchy know how he felt. Isn't it beautiful today? Anywhere is beautiful so long as you are there. Aww. Oh, stop it. You can do this. I thought to myself as I tried to dislodge the fro the frog in my throat. Ahem, I'm sketchy. I, I love you. Oh, in fact, I have been thinking about it a lot for a while and I don't think I ever want you out of my life. I'm willing to stay here forever, sketchy. If sketchy, will you marry me? <laughs> 
What am I gonna give him? This is his engagement ring. It's supposed to be the one true ring. It's the it's the one ring. Oh my! Yes, my heart begins to tremble. I mean, if you, I'm, are you? Oh heck, why not? Yes, yes, I will. I slid the ring on Sketchy's finger, and we embrace. I couldn't believe it. This was real. I was getting married. Suck it, dream daddy. This is the ending I deserve. The day had come and I was sweating like a maniac in my nervously doodled tuxedo. You can do this. You've prepared for this day. No, 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 move it over there. Hey dear, everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. I'm just a little nervous. It's okay. I am too. It's just I want our day to be perfect, you know? It will be because you and I will be married by the end of it. Aww. That is actually pretty cute. I'll lean over and kiss Sketchy. Now go put yourself together. I'll, get, I'll greet our guests and then I'll meet you under the archway for the marriage. I could see our first guests arriving in the distance. I walked over to greet them only to find a face I hadn't seen in a long time. Claire! <gasps> and I'm glad you came. There's something I need you to know before you get married. I've always had feelings for you. That's why I brought you here to begin with. When you drew me all those years ago, I felt special bond with you. Wait, wait to wait until my wedding day to drop this bombshell on me, Claire. Why encourage me to date someone else? I'm not sure I suppose that when I asked you to draw your dream date, some part of me was hoping that you'd draw me and then I'd make a second you. Claire, that's messed up. I guess what I'm trying to say is I love you. I feel so conflicted, but I think I love Sketchy. I feel like that would be terrible to lead Sketchy on this way. Also, I feel like if I truly love Claire, I should have said something before. That's sweet. Don't. Just don't say anything back. My heart can't take it either way. I'm not here to crush a wedding. That's not who I am. I just need to be honest with you. It's just something. Do you think she would have taken it if I tried to tell her? Now go marry the love of your life. Claire, wait. With that, Claire was gone. Here we go. I'm gonna marry Sketchy, my true love. Oh my gosh, Deadpool is marrying me and Craig from Dream. Honestly, this might be my dream wedding. Do you, most shapely and handsome creator, take Sketchy as your lawful drawing for life? I only have one option. <laughs> And do you, Sketchy, take your creator as your lawful creator for life? I, I do. Then with the power vested in Deadpool, I pronounce you spouse and spouse. You may kiss each other. Go nuts. I held Sketchy by the waist and kissed them passionately. What if we just wake up and it was all a dream? After the ceremony, I carried my newfound partner into the bedroom of our- Wait, is his head on the bed? This is so weird. Oh! Why does he look sad? Something feels wrong about it? If we don't tonight, will you be upset? Of course I wouldn't be upset. I love you after all. I just want you to trust me on this. I'd rather not talk- Oh no! This is a lot of drama. Whoa. Months went by and married life went on as expected. Every day we would try to get to consummate our union and every night it didn't happen. This is weird. <laughs> this this is all weird. Hey dear, figure out what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Uh, don't suppose you could whip something up. Oh, we're having a fight? Well, I'm not the one who can magically draw us up meal. I mean, does cooking not exist here? Anything you want exists here, that's the point. I want you to contribute to our little home here every once in a while. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not contributing. I'm not spending every day of my existence with you, talking about you, watching the things you make. This whole world is about you. I don't like any of the things that are happening. Yeah, you ever stop to think that maybe I don't like that I don't have a background, wants and desires, no history or taste to call my own? All I am is something that meant to physically suit you. Oh, we're getting to the deep problem here. Well, you sure desire to never have sex every night. <laughs> Our lives together aren't good enough if you can't get it off on, on me. Ugh! Nothing about me is real and nothing about me is mine and you've been around since the day I've existed and everything and maybe I should have married Claire. Are you saying that me and Craig are not meant to be in this reality either? Honestly, this reality is weird so I'm kind of cool with it. The one thing I have to call my own, the body you gave me. And that's one thing I don't know if I'm willing to give up. I know there's never going to be a good time to say it but babe, I want a divorce. Oh! Wow, I moved out. <laughs> Deadpool's the lawyer. Alright, well we'll just need to sign here and then divorce will be final. Yeah, I'll sign it. There you go. Oh my gosh, Sketchy gave me my ring back. Knock, knock, knock. There was a knock at the door. Hello. My favorite fruit is speaking with me. I know it's been a long time, but get standard with away from you. Oh, they're all in love with me. Ew, I'm wanting to be in your loving mouth, but then I realized something. I don't just want to be in your mouth. I want to be in your heart forever. Why am I saying that I'd like to date my favorite fruit? I don't, I didn't want it. Oh God. <laughs> Is that the end? I end up with my favorite fruit? Wow, well this was super weird, but highly entertaining. I'll see you guys in the next video. I put out new videos every Monday and I'll, so I'll see you next Monday. Bye.